Hello and welcome. If you're new to this channel, we are starting something called the Sea Joy series, where we're actually going hard in the pursuit of joy. Along with finding good skincare, we're also about finding yourself because I really believe having been through a lot of stress and having my skin and hair pay for it, that till the time the healing doesn't happen internally, the healing won't happen despite using the best topical skincare. So it's important to heal yourself from the inside out and then look at topical skincare and to actually have topical skincare perform on us. Because I think it's at the point of joy that you feel internally inside of you that everything else starts. Your creativity, your success, and most importantly, peace within as well as peace with the world around you. For us to really get to that point, it's important to understand a few things about joy. In this particular video, I'm going to be talking about understanding what is joy. So what is joy? Joy is that momentary experience that we, you know, go through where we feel ecstatic. We are jumping, you know, that line you have, you're jumping with joy, you feel one with everything else. There's nothing else in your, um, you know, moment of seeing the world. You just feel that pure oneness, intenseness with that moment. That moment is described as joy. What gives us joy? Now, over a number of scientific studies, and of course, we're going to be talking about the scientific angle because the channel does stand for science and facts. So joy is a very... Um, you know, it's a very flat experience. Everybody around the world experiences joy the same way. Just like when all of us see things like a rainbow, we see flowers, we see a small baby, we see a small baby animal, we are in the middle of nature. Almost everybody, with the exception of I don't know who, will feel the one feeling of joy. Because really nobody sees a rainbow and says, ew, a rainbow, or ew, a baby animal, or yikes, that nature is ugly. Nobody does that, right? This experience is almost a uniform and flat across different cultures, across different world. So that moment is typically described as joy. Joy, unlike happiness, is momentary. It happens in one moment, you feel it and it passes. Happiness is a state of being. Once you've experienced this great moment of joy where you felt oneness and there's nothing else in your mind except that appreciation or just that, you know, you're getting locked in that moment. Post that moment, you might feel happy for a very long time and you might push yourself or meander yourself or kind of coax yourself to stay in that moment of happiness. So that is the key difference between joy and happiness. To really understand that better, the fact is that when we see a moment of joy or when we feel a moment of joy, there are three feelings. You feel, you perceive the whole experience and then you sense joy comes in. And these moments are trapped in our memory and trapped in us forever. So every time we think of this moment, oh, I was walking down that hill or I was meeting somebody and you saw a rainbow, you saw a small puppy, you saw this beautiful nature open up to you, that moment stays with you and continues to give you happiness. Now, all of us, when we begin life as children, you know, we begin our life joyful, right? All of us feel joy as we are growing up as children. But over a period of time, as we become adults, we start feeling less joy as, you know, as students, studies take on, judgments take on. We all judge. When we judge, that is where our sorrow, sadness, and everything negative starts. Whether we are experiencing judgment or we are giving judgment, it's the same feeling everywhere. Judgment is the most negative emotion that anybody can either experience it or give to someone else. Nobody feels good being called fat, short, you know, unsuccessful, unhappy. At the same time, person who's giving the judgment can't be coming from a point of happiness when you're judging someone wrongly, right? Instead of saying, oh, you're so short, you could also say, hey, you're so beautiful. Or if the money is not successful, you could always tell them, hey, this is how I can help you, right? So it's really a very negative place to be in. Now, as we grow, because of this continuous beating down at us, we forget the pure joy. And the fewer moments of joy that we have, the lesser happiness we feel. How can we go back to joy? Can we create joy around us? Scientists believe that joy comes from few very simple things. A pop of color, 
round shapes now if you examine nature everything in nature is rounded right you don't find trees with angular trunks you don't find leaves which are like pointed triangles everything is round it'll have a little bit of an angle but generally it's rounded shape in fact babies have very round shapes have round big eyes you know have round faces puppies have you know round eyes and small stubby faces because the shape of roundness in our brain gets us to feel love and to feel kindness and to feel protective about the thing that we are seeing that is how we are built and this reaction it comes very deeply right from our amygdala right so it's there in our brains so we are structured that way the more we spend time in angular shapes angular environments it does not give us joy but it also kind of base level makes us agitated and this is a scientific fact so clearly when you're living in concrete jungles one of the biggest reasons for unhappiness and for feeling less is because there is less positive reinforcement coming from the environment take some time out today and look at nature I mean, look at pictures and see how much everything is rounded and how much is angular and you will be surprised my friend to see that the basic shape the this the real shape of joy and beauty is rounded pop of colors nature is full of colors you just have to take out some time and see the other thing that gives us a lot of joy is gratitude feeling thankful you know when you get success when you're told that you're great you do feel happy you feel thankful towards your boss now what if you made it our aim to make at least someone every day feel happy and to thank god for three things every single day thank you for this beautiful day thank you for giving me such a loving spouse such great children or such great parents or the opportunity to do what i'm doing or you know just the fact that i have good health when we celebrate good things we create a very positive energy around us and better things come to us so can we create joy can we make it an exercise to create joy yes we can and here are a few things you can do number 1 look for pop of colors or surround yourself with bright colors now i'm not saying jarring colors but just nice happy colors indian culture and indian psyche is full of some really rich positive colors the mustards the reds the greens the blues you know in nice palettes surround yourself with that in fact the primary colors which are surrounded in most of the children's nurseries is because it gives us very positive reinforcements that's number one second in your environment look for rounded things when you're creating your environment you know instead of going for sharp angles look for rounded things create your living space or resting space to have more rounded angles and more rounded furniture and to have more rounded shapes around you The third thing you can do is actually practice gratitude and thanks to God every single day or to whatever you believe in is a higher power to yourself or if there is somebody whom you place on a pedestal take the time to thank them whenever we indulge in a positive emotion we feel more positive and the more positive emotion we indulge in the more positive we will feel down the road So here are three action items for you. If you practice something else which gives you a lot of joy and happiness or a practice that help you become better at appreciating life or becoming more joyful and happy, do share it in the comment section and also let me know how this video is for you. And the more I hear from you, the better I'm going to get at creating these. For more, I'm going to meet you in the comment section.